Christina Bartlett here with My Vision Agency. You guys let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay. It looks like my promo video just stopped working in the middle of that. So I want to make sure that everyone can hear me. Hello, Ray. Thank you so much for joining. I think you can hear me. Hopefully all is well. All right, so um, welcome to today's live training. I do want to share with you a super, super new tool that allows you, it's actually a plugin for high level and it allows you to create buttons like this. Let me turn on my little button highlighter so that you guys can see here. Thank you, Manolo. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ray. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you how to do is create these buttons here. Um, that will actually trigger automation. So you could send these buttons to um, a tag or you could send the button to a link. Okay, so this is so cool and I'm gonna show you why. You actually have the ability to create locations and users and all the permissions based on this button. So let's say that I am in the conversations tab here and I'm talking to Jane Doe 5 can see I've tested this a lot. Um, I'm talking to Jane Doe 5 and I want to send her an account. Okay. Now you could also create, like if you, let's say you're using a different payment gateway or something and you wanted to say, you know, every time we add this tag, I want the whole location to be created. So it allows you this, this plugin I'm going to talk to you about today allows you to not only create the tag that will trigger the automation to create location and all that, but it will also allow you to put a button here so you can put the button to the tag. So I wanna show you exactly how I was able to build this out today, okay? So the plugin that I'm using is GHL plugins. You can actually create a free trial at myvisionagency.com forward slash GHL plugins, okay? So you'll see here, the very first thing you wanna do when you create an account, um, of course, you're gonna get your, you know, your agency script and all that. They have instructions to show you how to do that. Um, really simple. But what you wanna do is go into the profile and you wanna create links, okay? So you're gonna click here to create a link and I'm sorry, I can't show you everything, but, um, you want to uh, go to the create a link and then you're gonna choose on that link that you're creating, you're gonna choose what tool that is available up here, what tool do you wanna add to that link, okay? Then when you create the link, you're gonna create a custom menu link inside of your agency. It's really simple to do. Um, so you wanna go to you know choose an icon, you're gonna give it a name and you're gonna paste that link here. You want to choose to have this open in the iframe so it doesn't leave the window. And then, of course, you can select, you know, if you don't want the agency to have it, you can select each individual sub account or, you know, if you wanted to do all of them. I, actually, I'm not quite sure if it works on all of them. You may have to set it per sub account and then set it to automatically create the sub account. So, don't quote me on that, but you do want to select the sub account, at least your own that you're going to be adding this to. And then you want to choose the visibility. So do you want the admin, the user, or all of the users of that sub account to have access? And you can choose to toggle this on or off. It's up to you. Okay. Now, once you have that link, you'll see this is what it looks like. It's the you know, you can see here in my agency, I called it tools. Um, I'm the only one who has access to this. So if you are looking and you're like, I don't see that, um, it's because I don't have anyone else have access to this. And you can see these are the tools that I chose and this is what it looks like, okay? So when I wanna create that button inside of my sub account, I simply wanna go to add a button and then I'm gonna give the button a name. So I'm gonna say test. I want to choose, is this a button for my agency or my sub account? I'm going to choose sub account for this. And then, of course, I'm going to choose the account um, here. So I don't want to choose the drop down menu, but this is the account that I'm going to add it to. And then am I going to choose the, the action of this, this contact button? Do I want to send it to a link or do I want to send it to a tag? So what I really am excited to show you today, because of course, if you add to a link, you're going to choose, do you want to iframe it, external link? And then you're going to paste that there. You can choose the icon, the folder that you want to put it in. You could choose the color of the button, the background and the text. And then you could also choose some custom fields here. And it says the value of these custom fields will be appended to the URL for a link button. So it gives you an example there. Okay, so if you wanted to carry info um, from your 
the contact area to um, another link, like a form or something, you could add that there, okay? What I'm really excited to show you is the tag option because this is so, so helpful um, when you are in that conversations tab here to be able to trigger those automations, to be able to, for example, maybe create a task if you're using the task management system or fill out a form or something like that. that or maybe there's an external website that you're working with that you need to access many times a day. You can add that to the button there. Um, this one here, is the one that I created the tag. So you're just going to choose whatever you want your tag to be, okay? So if I wanted every time I add the tag test to trigger an automation, then that's what the tag that I wanna add here, okay? I could also choose the icon that I want it to be. So let's say this one, and then I can choose the folder that I wanna add it to, um, and then I can choose the color, okay? So if I wanted like, let's say red, and then we could have the background color maybe would be, um, let's say green, we'll just make it really obnoxious, okay? So you can see that's what the button would look like. And then of course I could save the changes, all right? Now, what happens, how, how does all of this work, right? Well, for, of course, here now, the way that we set this up, and of course, if you're setting this up the first time, give it about 10 minutes before the buttons actually show up here. But once you create them here, they're going to show up in that profile area, okay? So how do we get this button to trigger an automation? Well, all you need to do is go inside of your high-level account, and then you're going to choose the tag that you want to trigger that where you click that button and then you want that workflow to trigger, okay? Now, how do you get it to actually create an account? Now you do have to have the SaaS account to make this create a location and the user with all the permissions, okay? Now let me drag this over here because I am live and there's some things that I can't show. So I'm gonna go to that specific tool here, location creator. Let me drag this up just one second. I'm grabbing it. And as soon as the page loads, I'll be able to show you what I'm looking at here. Um, so, so sorry about this. Let's go back here. Of course, things want to load slow when I'm live and when people are waiting. All righty. So here we go. Let's move this over. So inside of GHL plugins, again, you have the ability to create this location. So I'm going to take you into the back end of mine and you can see what it actually looks like. All right. So you could click there to add it if you didn't have one. But um, this is what it looks like on the back end. All right. So you're going to choose the event tag that you want. And so I chose affiliates. That's the tag inside of my account. When I click this button, it's going to go to affiliates. Okay. So you can see that right there. Now, when I, I of course, I'm going to name this template. I just call it affiliates. I know it's super creative. You can activate or deactivate this. And then you could even send this. Um, to a webhook, okay? So I don't have that triggered. I didn't have a reason for that. Um, so the next step is now you want to create the location, okay? So it's going to, basically what we're doing is um, in the account name, we wanna choose what account name do we want to be there, right? So when you choose from this drop down menu, the contact fields inside of high level, when you choose what field is going to be the account name, you just select it and then it adds the custom value there, okay? Now, of course, you're gonna choose all those custom values there. Um, step two, you wanna choose the owner name, the owner last name. And of course, when you're choosing that, again, what's, what's the owner name gonna be? The owner last name, it's gonna be last name, right? You wanna add the email address there. You can choose the, the user settings. This is the same as if you were to manually set up this account. Do you want to allow duplicate contact, Facebook merge, name merge, allow duplicate opportunity, uh, disable the contact time zone. You can even pull in all of these links from social media if you need to. And then also you can select the snapshot that you want to be loaded when you add this tag to someone's account. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click next. Let's uh, minimize this. Click next. And then now we're setting up the user. Okay, so I'm going to look here at this user. You're going to choose the, again, the custom 
fields you want to choose from this drop down menu. So we're going to just map that out. You could choose a password. However, creating the location, it will prompt them to create the password the first time that they're logging in. You want to add the user um, phone. And then of course you want to choose, is this going to be a user or an admin for this specific tag? And then is this going to be an account, meaning a sub account in your agency, or is this going to be an agency account? Like you are basically inviting like a VA who's going to have access to your entire agency. That's what an agency account would be. And then what you want to do is go through and select all of the tools that you want to be enabled in this plan when you choose that tag. You'll see here, I don't have any um, added and that is on purpose. I did not want any tools added because I actually created a new plan that allows all of my resellers access to my dashboard so that you can access all of the tools in one place. And it's super, super easy. So if you are in my reseller program, you should have gotten an email giving you access to everything. Of course, if you didn't um, reach out and let us know. Okay. So you have uh, some more options here, for example, uh, custom value creation, if you needed to do that in the um, creation of your account. And then of course, um, we can add additional tags here, okay? So this is how it is set up, okay? So once this is all set up through GHL plugins and you have added the code to your agency and all the initial setup things, okay? Now what happens is this tag, anytime, whether I use the button option or not, as long as this automation is set up to trigger for that tag, anything that happens here, is completely automated, right? And you can see this is my whole setup here. So we're creating a brand blast account. We're waiting a minute, adding a tag, removing some tags, updating contact fields, adding notes to the profile. We're granting access to the reseller community, the course area. We're removing the entry level tag, removing the access to the entry level course, revoking the free community access, adding them to a couple affiliate campaigns that we have, also creating the white label suite account because all of our members have 100 credits every month they can use there. And then of course, I'm updating my Google tag, Google AdWords uh, account for conversion. Okay. And then we're adding a newsletter tag. So that's my real life workflow. Every time uh, a new reseller account is created. Okay. It's creating that location account. It's not creating any tools, but they will get access to all of the options here on the side where it's the AI leads, AI coach. So all of you guys now have access to Hey Levi, which you did not before. Typically it was only my, um, my all tools plan members that had access to that, but you'll also see you have access to the social autopilot here, the content AI and our community as well. Okay, so definitely check all of that out, reach out if you have issues. And I do want to tell you guys, uh, thank you so, so much for joining me for today's training. Of course, you can create that free trial at the top there at myvisionagency.com forward slash GHL plugins. You can also go to myvisionagency.com to check out any of our plans. And if you are, a member of our free community or our reseller community. Um, as soon as we're done with this training, you want to go to the events calendar. You're going to click here and you'll be able to uh, join me in a Zoom room for open office hours. So if you have questions, definitely feel free to reach out. If you're not a member of our free community, you can do that at myvisionagency.com as well. Okay. Thank you all so, so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go make your vision a reality.